Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica here to do the Leo love reading for the first half of January 2020. This will be for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Or if you have a lot of Leo in your chart, or if you have a lot of fire in your chart, this may resonate. And obviously being a general reading, this will not resonate for everybody. So do go check out the other signs that make up your natal chart. Often they can resonate more than even your sun sign and cross watchers. Certainly if I'm speaking to Leo, but it sounds like I'm speaking to you, take it as it resonates. And if it doesn't fit, guys, it doesn't fit. It just means I'm not tuning into your situation. And look what just flew out is the lovers. Because I'm not even done with my intro yet. And here we go. The lovers is just wanting to be seen. So... Big time spiritual love connection here. This can indicate making a decision about love and all that. I'm going to put this back in the deck. And because uh, we do have a lot happening here in the beginning of 2020, please do go check out my recent videos where I talk about these major events and also the 2020 series. Because the first half of January is packed with crazy transits and astrological events that are affecting everybody. Uh, we have an eclipse happening on January 10th, the full moon lunar eclipse. We have the Saturn-Pluto conjunction on January 12th slash 13th, which happens once every 36, 37-ish years and always brings major change. We also have, um, we've just had the recent eclipse in December, Jan December 26th, which started a whole six-month new cycle of good luck and abundance. And we also have Venus, the planet of love, moving into... Out of Aquarius, where she's been making objective decisions about love and moving into dreamy, romantic Pisces. So the planet of love going into Pisces, which is the most idealist, romantic sign in the Zodiac. That's all happening literally in the first two weeks, first half of January. So definitely go check those videos out if you haven't, because there's a lot of information that comes in for those. So let's see here what is going on. For you, Leo, when it comes to love, the first half of January 2020. Current situation is strength. Recent past is the Hierophant. Where you're going is the Four of Swords. Where your energy is is the Seven of Wands. Where their energy is is the Five of Swords. All right, so this is an energy of um, a major spiritual lesson here in the past that has been going on spiritual growth, spiritual um, awakening that has led to conquering a lot of fears, the current energy. Uh, we're getting the strength card with the seven of wands and the five of swords. So th these can be cards of conflict. You might be in a situation where you've been in conflict or you've been defending yourself or kind of in a battle with somebody. Um, but there is an energy of victory here and also one of healing that's coming in. So let's get another... Um, Let's get another set of these cards and add to this story. So the strength card is also getting the queen of swords. Okay. The hierophant is getting the nine of pentacles. The four of swords is getting the queen of wands. Seven of wands is getting the stars. And the ten of wands is the five of swords. All right, so Leo, you've been standing your ground about your wish fulfillment and what's destined for you. You also want to heal heal this situation, and this person here is ready to take responsibility for their part of the battle or the disagreement or the conflict. Um, because here it's like in the past there's been a lot of spiritual growth and there's been a level of success and abundance being good on your own. And the current energy with the strength card and the queen of swords, it's almost like somebody could be cutting somebody out of a situation. Maybe they have been holding back from cutting someone out, but there is healing here and there is the energy of, you know, confidence, taking a pause. So let's get another, another round here. Why is this, uh, so the queen of swords is getting the eight of cups. So someone is moving. Okay. Eight of wands, nine of wands, 10 of pentacles, four of cups. All right. This person's been missing you, Leo. 
this person has a lot of love for you and they feel like they've been missing out. They've been, they've been unhappy emotionally wherever they've been. And, you know, this is also where you know that this is your happiness, your family. This is your destiny. And you've stood your ground on this, Leo. You haven't budged on that. And this person, um, this person has been missing you. And it could be that they may have walked away from you or iced you out before. And they've been holding back on coming forward. But it it's also where they someone here might be might is clearly walking away from something. And that's why they're needing to heal a little bit. And they're also, you know, the nine of wands is that card of perseverance. It's interesting, we're getting um the eight of wands here and moving into the nine of wands here. The Ten of Wands is over here. So it's a little bit of um, someone could have been holding back from Leo. You may have been standing your ground and wanting your family, but somebody needed to figure out they had to separate from you to figure out what they really wanted and why is this eight of wands here in the recent past there certainly could have been some communication here um a reach out some sort of messages back and forth why is the eight of wands here the five of pentacles That's uncertainty, that's unworthiness, fear of rejection. I'm just getting drawn to how this guy's out in the cold as the five of pentacles under a mushroom in the rain. And this lady's inside here in the rain, inside, but she's also in the rain. They're both unhappy. With whatever communication transpired in the past that may have made one of you single. So there could have been a marriage here that ended up with an ending. Somebody becoming single. And um, one of you, Leo, maybe could have been feeling rejected here. And, but you've stayed strong. Whether it's a marriage or a commitment, whatever. Um, you, it's like you stayed strong in this while they went off. And they could be... so fascinating i'm gonna get some more cards here and add to this current situation the status quo cycle of the status quo things being stagnant and not quite moving anywhere yet so this is why there's a strength card here that's about kind of holding back So someone could be making some decisions here about leaving a situation, leaving a relationship, which is why the energy between is still holding back. Recent past, we have joyous fun. So what it feels like is that the recent past is whatever happened in the past with you and this person, you've still been in a pretty good energy feeling good about life, growing spiritually, being good on your own, even if maybe you weren't necessarily wanting to be on your own for a while. And dealing with a little bit of unworthiness, but you're currently in the status quo, but let's see where you're going. Intention of discovery. It's going to, the answers are going to come to you here. Figuring out how to heal this situation learning something new, learning a new golden nugget. Where else are you going? Professional assistance here. So some of you could be going into counseling or, you know, getting some help, um, therapy, mentoring, coaching. 
This certainly can always indicate that this is somebody, a colleague or somebody that you work with. Let's see where you're at. Letting go. And let's see where they're at. Behind a mask. See, they're not showing you yet what's happening. They haven't shown their two colors to you yet. They haven't shown you that they um, have been unhappy here. So they haven't quite revealed to you what's going on. It's almost like, you know, you may be in the energy of wanting to let go to some degree, but this is not about, this is just about trusting the divine. And another energy for you. The honoring path. Um, this is a very interesting reading, Leo, I have to say, my goodness, so the honoring path, this is respect and high regard. This is about getting positive recognition for something you've done. This also indicates a shift in other people's attitudes towards you. So thank you. That's what this is. This is where you have um, let go of, not of your love for this person, but you've let go of feeling like you want to get dragged down by the heaviness of the past. But this is where suddenly, it's almost like because you may have pulled back your energy and not pursued any longer, this person, while they've been kind of not revealing who they really are, that's getting their attention on you a little bit more. It's almost like they're starting to see you in a new light because you didn't pursue them, because you didn't chase them down when they went to go do whatever they did, right? Let me get another one for this person. But they're wanting emotional peace. They're wanting to feel peaceful by coming out from behind this mask. And the fragmented energy. Yeah, so it's like this is the static that's, this is the uncomfortable, mushy middle that's going to be breaking through. There is the energy of perseverance here to heal this. And here's the event of a great achievement. So, Leo, your steadfastness and honoring of yourself and trusting in what you know and what's destined for you and what your path is and the fact that you have detached from the situation to allow it to unfold as it's supposed to is what's bringing you to this incredible brand new discovery, brand new achievement, something beautiful coming into your experience. So let's get another final card for where you're going, Leo. Your dreams need a practical plan. So this is about a, a cycle coming to an end where the dreams are becoming a reality. These wishes, these dreams that you've had for your world are going to be coming to a reality here. All right, Leo, I hope that was helpful. Um, until next time, I send you so much love. Bye.